Hi guys, it's James in Japan. If you live in a house and you have a sliding door like this, and it's not actually sliding anymore, there are a couple of things that you have to do. This video will talk about replacing the wheel at the bottom of the door and a plastic stopper. You're looking at the bottom of my sliding door. Now, it's not sliding properly. It's supposed to be very smooth. I'll show you what I mean in a moment, but it's doing this. There's a wheel that goes into this groove. You can't see it. I'll take this out in a moment. As you can see, there are three screws. The bottom screw allows you to turn the wheel right or left. And the middle screw allows you to raise or lower the wheel. The top screw allows you to remove this entire piece or to affix it. These Japanese door stoppers have a stopper up here. It's made of plastic. Mine broke, that's why it's not there. So when you slide the door like that, the stopper slows the door down and closes it by itself like that. Okay, that was me doing that. So I need to replace the bottom wheel. This is another door and it's supposed to slide like this. Very smooth. Like that. And here is the door stopper. So watch what happens when I slide it. it slows down and it closes by itself. You're looking at Amazon Japan's website. And this is the door stopper part that I ordered. It costs 1,260 yen. And here's the wheel that I need for the bottom of the door. It costs 3,433 yen. And here are the packages. Let's open them. Okay, these are the two parts that I bought from Amazon Japan. The door stopper and the wheel. Actually, there are two wheels. It tells you over here. I overlooked it. It's by Panasonic. I only need one wheel, but I can always keep the other wheel for another door. And there are two screws, one screw for each. And it comes with a Japanese user guide because this is a Japanese door. Okay, all the instructions are in Japanese. There are different colors that you can buy. Brown, black, and this, this is ivory white. This is up and this is down. This is left and this is right. Yes, the wheel is very smooth compared to the old wheel. It's hard to turn. Now there could be hair, there could be other kinds of debris inside but I think it's damaged it's worn out and it's time to replace it I want a smooth wheel okay I'm saying goodbye to this wheel and incoming the new wheel and you see there are some strips here you're supposed to lift up the wooden door place this under the door for space and then slide this in all right, you can adjust the wheel by turning these screws. So turning it clockwise lowers the wheel. Turning it counterclockwise raises the wheel. Okay, and down here turns it right or left. Now let's look at the door stopper. It's made of plastic and it comes with three screws, one short and two long. All right guys, let's get to it. With these two strips, I'm going to place them under the door like a jimmy. I'm going to put these uh, pieces of paper uh, under this door, just, uh, lift it up a little like this, just to give it some space. 
just like that. Okay, so I've created some space here. Now for this new wheel. Fits perfectly. And it's, it's sliding perfectly, look at that. That's the way it should, that's the way it should slide. Whoa. Perfect. Okay, now to screw the top to keep it in place. You don't have to do anything else. And then after this, I'm going to install the door stopper. Done. Now for the door stopper. There are two long screws. I'm going to use each of them in one of these holes and for this hole I'll use the short screw. Let's do it. We want this part, the stopper, to be facing the door as the door comes. Like that, okay? Not the other way around. Gotta align the screw and the hole. Turning it clockwise. Okay, I won't tighten it all the way yet. Next long screw. That'll go here. and tighten and the short screw here okay, make sure it goes in the hole yes and now I can tighten it I'll tighten all the screws That's good enough. Perfect. Now to test the door. Now to test the door. Perfect. That's what we want. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to my channel.